Have you ever wanted to compete for $100,000 in one of our videos? Basically, there's a timer on the app, and when that timer hits zero, everyone with their finger on the app will be entered into the challenge. And whoever takes their finger off the app last wins $100,000 in cash. I can cheat that. YouTuber Mr. Beast has some sort of challenge thing for his viewers. If you download this app and keep your finger on until you're the last one left, then you can win 100 grand. However, to prevent people from just putting a stylus in the middle and then going to bed, you have to move your finger to different circles when they appear. I've seen people make robots, use 3D printers, or whatever this and this are to complete the last Mr. Beast finger app challenge, but they're either too hard or very unreliable. So I ended up making a WinForm application on my computer and doing it there instead, moving the mouse to where the circles are and holding the touch down. Hold up, didn't you say this was an app on your phone and not on your computer? And yeah, I did say that. The Mr. Beast app is only for Android and Apple. So how did I get it to run and connect on my computer? The answer, emulators. You see, when Mr. Beast gave a link for the app, he gave an Apple Link store link and a Google Play store link. I'm not going to use the Apple version because Apple is difficult for developers, but with Google Play, I can dig in and find the .apk file for the app. The file is basically just an .exe file, but for Android. And with this, I can install an Android emulator on my computer and run said .apk file. These Android emulators are the same emulators when you want to run a test Android app on your computer or when you want to play Among Us on your PC but don't want to pay 5 bucks. With this emulator, I can run the MrBeast app on my computer and using the, my computer rather than my phone it is much more flexible as I can run multiple programs at once and run my own code. The emulator registers a click as a touch, so I just need to find a way to hold click and move my mouse around. WinForms is a way to code applications for Windows via C Sharp the coding language that I'm most comfortable with. With this, I can capture my screen and move my mouse to a specific coordinate. At first, I was thinking of taking a screenshot every half second, process the image to look for pink spots, and move the mouse accordingly. But there are a few problems. One, the player, the touch marker on the app, and the place where you need to place your finger are both pink. And secondly, this is an unreliable method. But then I realized, that you can just move your mouse around randomly, but not randomly, just without a given path. The app was kind enough to have dots. This can act like a grid. So let's say our player is a 2x2 two two area, and the space needed to click is a 3x3. Three three. So if we follow a path of 3 grid spaces from the outside, we should be able to hit every possible marker. In this path, no matter where it is, it will always eventually get to the point needed. So let's write a code for this plot. First, I wrote a simple debug script that will print the coordinates of the mouse. Normally, I would set the mouse position to the coordinates of the corners, but that would teleport the mouse, and we want to highlight everything in its path. So instead, I have one loop to set a target position of the corners every half second, and another loop to always adjust the mouse position by one each millisecond to get closer to the target position. And for good measure, I add an if statement to check if the shift key is not being pressed. So if I do press shift, then the mouse will not be overridden, and I can stop the program if I need to. Because, you know, when I didn't have that, I couldn't stop the program, and I had to restart my computer. And finally, to test the program, the only mode available before the thing started is the battle mode, which is basically just a mini version of the actual thing where I go against people. I didn't kill my bot to press play again, so that was kind of annoying with testing, but in the actual thing, there won't be a play game button. At the time of recording, the event hasn't started yet. Oh, and by the way, I do not advise cheating. I made this bot for fun, and if I win, which I probably won't. I have a GitHub link to the code in the description, but I'm only going to make it public when the event is over, because I know at least one of you is would try to download my code to cheat as well. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching me cheat, and I'll leave updates of the event in my Discord server.
which you can join from the link in the description. Subscribe if you like my content, and thanks for watching.